ready to kick off the second half of the season in what they call the Silver Boot Series. On the mound for the Texas Rangers, 32 year old veteran right hander Lance Lynn. And the second half of the season is underway. A first pitch swing and a routine ground ball for Esdrubal Cabrera. There's one gone. Two balls and two strikes to count to Michael Brantley, a two out base runner aboard in the top half of the first. Lynn's 2 2, a rare swing and miss from Michael Brantley that sets the side down without any noise in the top of the first. On the mound for the Astros, fresh up from a two start stint at Triple A, 25 year old Fromber Valdez. And the Rangers are cooking here in the bottom of the first inning. The next hitter, Elvis Andrews. 2 0 pitch is hit on the ground is shortstop. Bregman will concede the run for the out. It's 1 0 Texas. So here's Joey Gallo now. First and third, Rangers are set up. A bouncer that kicks off of Altuve. A second run scores. Mazzara wraps around to third, and it's 2 0 Texas. That's a scary moment for a guy who's had hamstring and knee problems this year. Speaking of the defender, Altuve. Danny Santana now. Great pick by Bregman. And they've got Mazzara in a rundown. Valdez covering the plate. And he will apply the tag. Wow, what a play by Alex Bregman. The ball appeared to be behind him. I mean, you talk, you talk about five tools. This is where the sixth tool comes in for Bregman. Terrific play all around, and that sets up Rugnet Odor, who on the first pitch takes one into the right field corner. Gallo and Santana score on a two-run double by Odor, and it's 4-0 Texas. And here comes A.J. Hinch. He can't wait around any longer for Valdez to figure it out. Houston gets two thirds of an inning out of their starter and Johnny bullpens called the duty early in Arlington. So it's Chris Davinsky looking for the final out just to get through the first. That's bounce right side into the shift. Altuve to his right. He's got it at short right field and throws out Chu to in the inning. But not before the Rangers put up a four spot. And the Astros have two on with one out here in the second. It would be huge for the Astros to be able to answer that four run first from the Rangers just to kind of show themselves that they're in this game. We'll see if they move or if they stay put. They do stay put and White strikes out. And A.J. Hinch knows a whole lot more about his roster than we do. Two out with two aboard and that'll bring up the catcher Robinson Chirinos. Ball and two strikes to Chirinos who has homered against Lynn in his career and he strikes him out with a heater. Reached back and found 98. Mathis walked on four pitches back in the first. He's got an RBI chance. Breaking ball driven to left field. Hanging up there. It drops in front of Brantley a base hit. Rugi will trot home. It's an RBI single for Jeff Mathis. And the Rangers take a 5-0 lead here in the bottom of the third inning. And this is a horrific pitch. You struck out Santana in a fastball up, and you just do Mathis a favor here and throw a lollipop right in a sweet zone, like a softball. So Chu batting for the third time so far tonight. Back up the middle oh. indeed, and taking oh. a really tough hop. It caught Bregman in the face. Oh man. 98 miles an hour off the bat and nothing that Bregman can do here. There's a base hit all the way and just self defense here. Well that came up and really popped him right in the chin. Second hop went straight up and that's unfortunate that last bad hop because it looked like a made to order double play ball. It's interesting to me where, where Bregman's kind of pointing toward his temples uh -huh. where he it looks like he's got an immediate headache right there. I think AJ wants to get him out of there. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna they're gonna take him out of this game. Yeah, five nothing game. I don't blame him. He looks really woozy as he walks off the field, almost like the lights are bothering him right now. So it scored a base hit for Chu, and that'll bring up Delano DeShields with the bases loaded, and a swing and a miss by DeShields for out number two, <laughs> who is rung up on a nasty breaking pitch by Snead, who indeed limits the damage at just a run. One away here in the top of the fourth. The 0-2. Strike three called outside corner. Lynn paints with a 96 mile an hour fastball. Trinos now awaits Lynn set the one two swing and a miss. Elevated the fastball and he got Robbie swinging. So that's seven strikeouts now for Lynn through four innings. A little bloop hit and here's Altuve. Here's a swing and a miss. Altuve chased the fastball up and he strikes out. That did not look like Jose Altuve, or at least the Jose Altuve that we've seen throughout the year as Lance Lynn records his eighth strikeout. Here's a pitch on the outside corner for a called third strike. 
Well, Hansel in records strikeout number nine as he dispatches straw. Jordan Alvarez will lead it off here for Houston. Lance Lynn threw five shutout innings. He went to the uh, breaking pitch there to get Alvarez. So Alvarez strikes out for a second time. And for Lance Lynn, ten strikeouts tonight. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball popped up foul. First base side Santana moving over into foul ground on the track near the short wall. But this one's back in the seats about three or four rows deep. Here's a foul ball that found the money. Knocked oh, the wallet wow. out of this dude's hands. <laughs> wow. Cash for everybody. A couple of questions there. First of all, bro, what are you doing trying to catch the ball with your wallet? And somewhere as Scott Boyer scrambles. <laughs> Lance Lynn right now working on a five hit shutout through six. The 2 2. Swing and a miss. Got him on the fastball. White goes down swinging for the third time tonight. And that's the 11th strikeout for Lance Lynn, tying his season high. First pitch swinging. Torinos rockets one to left. Gallo going back on the run, reaches up and makes the catch as he crosses onto the warning track and presses up against the out of town scoreboard and left. So another first pitch strike this one resulting in a line out off the bat of Chirinos. Here's Jose Altuve. The pitch swinging a ball hit in the air to center. The Shields racing back angling towards the track slowing down and makes the catch. So Lance Lynn gives up a two out double but leaves George Springer stranded. And the Astros are down to their final out and uh, looks like we're going to get a pinch hitter here. Tony Kemp for Tyler White. Swing and a ball hit under the glove of Martin. It deflected off of his glove. Barehand picked up by Elvis. And the throw to first is just in time. And the Rangers open up the ceremonial second half with a 5-0 victory over the first place Houston Astros.